Courtney here from Color Me Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a haul video. So really, in my plans and dreams for Christmas, I plan to give you multiple hauls. But then I got sick for a week and all my plans went down the drain. So today is my second holiday haul. So I have kind of picked out some of my favorite holiday things from the past, from the present. Oh, that's very Christmas themed. <laughs> And I brought in all those items today that I'm gonna show you for this haul video. So it's kind of like all of my favorite festive things. So without further ado, let's get to the video. I will link everything below and give you sizes and give you all of that so that you can shop and twin with me. But the rule is if you buy something and we twin, you have to let me know what it is so that I can be in on the twinning. So I'm going to be wearing this corset and biker short combo as I try things on just so I'm not nude underneath. So things might look a little bulkier on me just because it does have, it has like all this extra fabric. These biker shorts are old. I'll try to find something similar. So first up, we have this blue festive plaid skirt. This is a very cute skirt. I would love this skirt in like every color. It's actually very cute with the red corset top. Would be cute with just like a plain sweater. Truthfully, the skirt here is the star of the show. So I don't know if I'd wear these together, but I also got this plaid blazer. Might be crazy, might be fun. It's giving like Christmas office party extravaganza. Would you wear it together or would you keep it separate? If you wanna keep it more in like a solid situation, you're in luck because I also have these pants. So these are the matching set of this pant from J. Crew. J. Crew. I often buy pants two, three sizes too big because of this guy. I'll just have to get them really big in the waist and then I will either wear a belt or get them taken in so that they fit here. Also, loving the corset trend because if your pants are a little bit big, you can just wear the corset over it and then no one can tell. So I have a ton of cozy sweatshirts probably seen me wear them in other videos. This one I got on Etsy. It says, you got this, not you. I like that it has like the rainbow behind it. It's kind of worn now, so it kind of gives like a vintage look, which matches like some of the font, the 70s vibes going on here. Very into it. Next, we have this Bye buddy, hope you find your dad sweatshirt from Elf, which I love. I like that it's non-traditional Christmas colors. Like there's like some pink, some blues. It's not like red and green. So it's a little bit of a departure from the normal Christmas aesthetic. And I appreciate that. It's also like very kawaii because it's a very cute Norwal. We have this Home Alone sweater. I think I maybe showed it to you in a previous video and I got it big and oversized. I have been wearing it non-stop because it's my favorite. And last but not least, I have this Merry and Bright sweatshirt. I've had this one again for two or three years. And again, we love that it has non-traditional Christmas colors. It has like some pinks and pastels. I thought it was perfect because it matched my bookcase, which is also more pastel themed. Got this one on Etsy as well. Kind of my contribution to shopping small. Kind of keeping with the cozy sweater vibe. I got these guys from Mod Cloth. One has like a little bit of detail, and then this one is solid white. So this one's very festive, works for the holidays. This one works always. So I thought these would be cute to wear with leggings, also be cute with jeans, cute with skirts, etc. etc. So I got these in a size large, and I believe maybe an extra large, because I kind of wanted them to be long. Still like not as long as I would like it to be because I want it to be like here, you know? So I can wear it over leggings and not have like a full butt on display. But if that's your journey, I fully support that. Okay, so the red one is an extra large. So maybe it will be a little bit longer. Yeah, that's a lot better. Boom, coverage. If you have a big old booty like mine, you might have to size up a few sizes, probably normally in this sweater. If I was gonna wear it like tucked into a skirt, I'd get a medium. If I want it long, I'd get a large or a extra large in this case. It does get a little bit baggy over here. Here's the collar detail. <gasps> That's so cute, we love that. Let's get into something cozy. So I got these two onesies. We have this one, which is more of like Fair Isle print. I have this one, which is more like classic stripes. It's kind of a mess because I wore it last night. Here is the extra large 
very roomy you saw me wearing this probably in another video because i've been wearing it a lot it's very comfortable i like that it's like christmas but not like christmas so that you can wear it after christmas as well i saw that they mostly are sold out online so maybe we'll only have luck in a store um but also check back because there's a lot of returns happening probably on the other side of the holiday as well in case you wanted to get one all right let's try on the fair isle one which is like this rainbow sweater christmasy pattern it does have christmas trees on it so it is a little bit more festive and this one is a size large very cute love both need both obsessed with both keeping both there's also a scarf that matches i mean come on this is very cute that's not all gloves to match very cute or mittens these are mittens let's get technical with it it's christmas and fuzzy socks i wear fuzzy socks all winter i wear them in my boots i wear them around the house so this set has this pair as well as this pair that matches the other stripe. Keeping with the coordination theme, I also have this dinosaur scarf. I'm in a dinosaur phase right now, so this is perfect. And then there's a matching dinosaur pom-pom hat. I think there's a sweater too, but I just went with the accessories because I thought like red dress, dino accessories would be very, very cute for Christmas. So I got a few pairs of plaid pants. These are both from Mod Cloth. This is cute. I feel like full Santa himself. This has pockets. And I like that the pants have like the built-in suspenders. Truthfully, this is orange. Probably shouldn't be wearing it with red. I also got these pants. Also got them big. I will insert footage of me wearing them here. Call these Christmas dad pants. Because this is what your dad is wearing to church on Christmas. That's it for pants. We are more than halfway through this haul. We're gonna do some party dresses and then some accessories, and that's it. So, this dress you've probably seen me wear a few times. Truthfully, this is like my Thanksgiving dress because it is orange, but I think you could wear it for Christmas if you wanted. You could wear it for New Year's. Truthfully, there's no rules. Everyone's gonna be in red and green, so wear orange if you want. It has this like thick fabric where it like feels like a vintage dress. This is one of my favorite dresses I've ever owned. Like, it feels so vintage and like thick. It has like a little bit of sparkle in the print. The bow is giant. It has pockets. It's twirl worthy. Next, this is like my all time favorite dress. I've had this dress for four years and I pull it out every Christmas. Like still, if I'm like, I don't know what to wear. This dress is always the answer. I wore it when I was on a TV show on the Food Network. I wore it then. I've worn it to Disney World for the 50th anniversary. All of those times I've worn it. This is just like the best dress ever. I have it in red, I have it in blue. I need it in like a hundred other colors. Try it on in blue for you since we've been doing a lot of red. The dress runs very small though. When I first bought this dress, I was probably a size four or a size six. At the time I bought a size six and I could not zip it up. So then I exchanged it for an eight and it was even still tight on my like size four body. So go up one to two sizes. Right now I'm usually a size eight. I have this dress in a size 10 and it's, it's tight. This one is a size 12 and this one fits easy peasy as you can see. Has pockets, it's like built in fullness. So it will always stay poofy and twirl worthy. I don't know what fabric this is. It like looks like luxe fabric, but it's like still comfy. It comes in plus sizes as well. I do not know how the plus sizes run. I just know how the standard sizes run. I've also turned this dress into a skirt. So you can do this with truthfully any dress. You take the top half, fold it in half while it's unzipped. Then you're gonna pull it on. Then you're gonna zip it up. Works best with a poofy dress like this. The top of this is kind of poofy, so it's like a little, it's a little more challenging on this dress, but look, instant skirt. And then I recommend, because you will see this, I recommend zipping it further than the fold and then adding a belt. This one has like a big bow. It's very cute from Anthropology. I sized up in this, and truthfully, I also bought the corset version of it just the top and I sized up in that and it was too big. It's like this big giant bow. It's more of a longer silhouette than I'm used to. I don't usually go that long, but I still like it. And it has pockets. 
All right, let's do plaid dress. This one is also from Anthropology. I wore this a few times. I wore this the other day in my vlog, and then I also wore it early, like in November. I went to a holiday preview. I think it was actually October. Pockets, these straps are detachable. Everything we want in a holiday dress. This is a Mastiga dress, which this is a really fun fact. So once upon a time, I used to work at Coach, right, in merchandising, making handbags. One of the merchandisers on another team who I really loved was this girl named Louisa. And she left eventually and made her own brand. And this is her brand. So I did some work for them when they were just starting out and I was just starting out. And now they're like a big, like full-fledged brand. And it's so exciting to like see all of that happen. And this dress is maybe one of my favorite red dresses I've seen in a long time. It has these giant sleeves here, and then you tie it in the back so that the sleeves don't fall down. Cute holiday dress. Has pockets. It's so perfect. It's more of like a midi length. We love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. So this is the last piece I'm going to show you. This is a red selkie dress. You've probably seen this a thousand times because I own like six or seven silky dresses are some of my favorites, but I'm gonna show you a way to wear it that's a little bit different. So, first of all, we're gonna zip this bad boy all the way up. Silky dresses are see-through, especially on the bust. I'm wearing this with no bra, so you would definitely see something if my hands weren't here. Love it, right? Very, very fun. But this one's a little tight on me. I would not be able to fit a bra on there, so I discovered this out of necessity, but I actually really like it from a style perspective. I'm going to layer this red corset over the top. It's gonna make the dress less of a baby doll and more of a fit and flare, which is like my go-to style. Love that it gives a different shape to this dress because truthfully everyone has this dress. Like it's a very popular dress. You see it all the time, but this just makes it different. Makes it a little bit more flattering in my opinion, especially on my body. Um, you can pull them the sleeves down like this and it's very cute. And one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some fur trim to one of my corsets so that I could turn this into more of a Santa dress. But Selkie sells the actual Santa dresses. I was gonna buy one, but I was afraid it wasn't gonna come in time for Christmas. So this way I can still use my existing dress but turn it into a Santa dress. Also add this one. This one's like satin, so it matches a little bit more. I liked that there was contrast with the other one. This one would also look very, very cute. All right, moving along to accessories. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite festive Christmas accessories. We call them fest, fest, accessories, festive accessories. All right, so let's look at some of my favorite fest accessories. First, I have this headband. This one's from ASOS. I think it's sold out, but you could really easily do this as a DIY. What the base here is, is a padded headband, and you can find padded headbands anywhere on Amazon, truthfully. And then you could just add a little bit of fur trim here. Then boom, you're basically Santa. I wear headbands all the time because my hair is a lot of times unruly, and I feel like this can like help tame it and add a little color up here, break up all the curls. There's a lot of good things that come from wearing a headband. So this one is actually called a scrunchy headband because it looks like a scrunchy. I got this one on Etsy. This one is a padded headband as well. And so I always go for padded just because I have a lot of hair and then it helps them sit up. If you're gonna wear your hair in like a slick bun, a padded headband is also pretty because it makes you look like a princess. Okay, let's talk about purses. This is an oldie but a goodie. I'm just kind of showing off here because I'm not sure it's available, but I can find a similar piano clutch for you. I've had this 10 years now. It's just one of my favorites, like forever, forever, forever. This one is new. This actually is available. This is my top handle Kate Spade heart bag. It's just very, very cute. So easy and fun. This is another oldie but goodie bag. This is like a present one. It's Betsy Johnson. I actually did not get this when it was still available from Betsy Johnson. I had to hunt it down to find a resale. So you might find some luck doing the same, but it's been a favorite of mine. I wear it every Christmas. I've had it for like four or five years. Let's talk about drink accessories. So this one you've probably seen from me because I'm obsessed with it. It's the Stanley Quencher in this like red holiday color. It also comes in gold and like gunmetal, but I've been wearing the red all the time. 
There is also this one, which is from Pack Party. It looks like a little light bulb, so cute. I actually have this one on display on my wall, but it is actually a drink cup. Before we do earrings, let's talk about shoes. These shoes I've had for a few years and I wear them every holiday and I always get questions about them. I found a really similar pair, so I'm excited to link that pair down below. But these are from J. Crew, like a big gemstone right there. And they're like, not quite silver, not quite gold. There's some like flecks of purple in there. They're just gorgeous. And I sprained both of my ankles earlier this year. So I was afraid that none of my shoes would fit anymore. And those ones actually fit. So I was very excited about that. A pair of shoes that's current from J. Crew. I think J. Crew always has good holiday stuff, good holiday shoes. So this pair is like red and blue plaid. I like that it's like not traditional Christmas colors. There's some burgundy in there. This also comes in different patterns. Like I think it comes in a solid red if you wanted it. Next we have combat boots. So these are very out of character for me to like. I bought these two years ago, three years ago, and I wear them all the time. I'd wear them all year round if I could get away with it. All fall, all holiday, I wear these pretty much every day. Even if you see me wearing like really great shoes, it was probably just for a shoe. These are the Jardon Doc Martens um, in the cherry color. This cherry color is discontinued, but I have found a few pairs before, and every time I find them, I link them for you. I have bought other colors of Doc Martens, and they don't hit the same. I love the cherry color because it's dark with a little bit of red. I, I just can't get on board with like the all black ones. It's just not me. Moving on to earrings. Here's my earring tray. I'm gonna show you all of my festive earrings. Some of them are still available, some of them are sadly not, but I'm gonna show you all anyway. So these are like Christmas cookies. I like that these are snowflakes, but also Christmas cookies. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, they would still work for you and they work after the holiday. These big giant festive bow earrings, I love these. They look so cute, especially if you have a lot of hair like me, they will stick out, which is great. It's kind of hard for me to find earrings that won't get lost in my hair and these won't get lost, which is very exciting. These are Betsy Johnson gingerbread earrings. They're kind of giant. I like that these hang so low on my ears, again, for the same reasons. And they did two different gingerbreads. One wears a bow and it has lipstick and one just has like the button down classic gingerbread. So we like that we have both. Speaking of gingerbread, we have these cute Lego gingerbread. These ones, I think they came as a set as one who was in a dress and one was who was like more classic gingerbread, but I asked for two of the one in the dress. So this one like came apart, but you just put it back together because it's Legos. We got these cute little Christmas cards. These are separate pairs, but I mix and match them. It has Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I like that they came in darker skin tone. This one is more like my skin tone. Like she kind of matches me. And then there's also Mr. Claus and I got him in the darkest skin tone. And then they had an even lighter skin tone. I also got these. These are little marshmallows. They're dipped in hot chocolate. So cute. These, which are kind of big, but these are like holly jolly. This is one of my favorite Etsy designers called I'm Your Present. They make just giant festive earrings, but the designs are kind of like more simple. I call these holly jolly. It's technically probably mistletoe, huh? I have no idea. These, which are one of my favorites as well. Have I said that with all of them? Because usually I have a lot of holiday earrings and I picked out my favorites for this haul. So it looks like a little ornament. These are little gingerbread guys. They look like the ones from Shrek. Funny story about these. One of these is glossy and the other one isn't. And this not, one that's not glossy, I'd had him for a while and his gumdrop button fell off. I emailed the small shop on Etsy and was like, hey, I've had your earrings for a year, I love them. I lost the gumdrop button, can you send me a button and I'll replace it? And they were like, no, we'll send you a whole new pair. So they did and the new pair is a little bit glossier because I have my first pair as well as the second pair. And it was so kind. That's one of the nice things about ordering from Etsy designers is they're so, Freaking nuts. Oh, and I feel like you guys will ask. So this is my tray that I keep all my earrings in. I have a bunch of these, and so I will link that as well, because I know you'll ask about it. 
All right, cuties, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found some fun and festive holiday things, or at the very least, you were just entertained, because really, that's my whole goal here. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye.